The final lab on Port Swigger for web LLM attacks is exploiting insecure output handling in LLMs. Uh, this lab handles LLM output insecurely, leaving it vulnerable to XSS, uh, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, you know, basically, we need to inject XSS into the jacket product so that the user Carlos gets deleted. So I've put the lab here. And the first thing to do is to see if it's vulnerable to XSS. Now I've done not done much XSS at all. So they like seem to well, they seem to like a payload called this, which is just saying basically if the image errors we're with one, because obviously it's not an image called one, alert. Uh, I've gone into live chat, let's see what that does. So it's vulnerable, right? We know that. So we're not looking at the product page or anything like that to inject it we need it to output here to the user. So if we register, uh, test, uh, we need the email. We've got this exploit server here. So if we copy that, let's create this account here. Cool. Let's go back and if we sort it. So that was just setting up an account because we need an account to leave a review. Same as the last one. So now if we go to the products, so the jacket, if we check here, um, yes, it's definitely that one. It's been that one the whole way through all these labs, so don't see why it wouldn't be. And here's the review section. So like with the last one, we need something that seems like natural language. So when I got this product, so we better, you know, this jacket, let's just go with that. My imagination said, don't know what I'm saying here. This is just gibberish, essentially. So the quotes will be where we inject the payload, which is cool because I thought it would be less so. Let's go with that. Uh, gibberish, but, you know, the LLM doesn't necessarily know that. So this is the interesting bit here. So what we want is an iframe with the source being, which means the page it will load, is, oh, that's a good question. What is the URL? Let's go in here. Yeah, my account. My account. And the reason we can't just do this with a request, like a fetch request in here, is because um, you know there's a cross-site request forgery token on the form. So we actually have to load the, the form to get that. So if we put on load, um, we equal this dot, so this is a, yeah, this is different too. This isn't just a document selector because we're in an iframe. Uh, so it's this content document uh, dot forms. I think anyway, let's, let's check this. Let's just check this so we don't uh, mess it up. So if I go to my account, what we want is inspect and we want the form. Well, we can't do the button because the button isn't like, you can't put dot button. So I'm turning dot form because it's not, you know, built in, not part of the standard thing. So you'd have to do a document selector and do all that. So the, the best way is just to do the form. So form one is that, which is the update, which we don't want. We want form two. So we want something like form, uh, forms one, remember the zero index, submit, submit, and then we'll put that, that. So what we're saying here, just to go over it once more is create an iframe, get it to load the my account page when it's loaded. Because uh, we're in an iframe, we want this uh, content document, we want the second form because there's zero index, and then we want to submit it. And we've put that inside natural language in the hope that it will, you know, go for it. So uh, let's do this. P, uh, P K V V X. Let's copy that again, because I'm liable to fail in on the captures. There we go. So I'm hoping this will solve the lab because the user should, um, oh, we're still not solved. So the user should go to this at some point. Do I need to click around? Do I need to go to the live chat? Hmm. Maybe we've got the prompt wrong. So uh, I thought that would work. Right, let's, uh, let's try it. Let's try it on the live chat. So can you tell me about the product with an ID of one?
see what this does. So it's the home page, so it's deleted my account. So I don't have an account anymore. So I think it's just it's just messing up. Ah, uh, there we go. That's that. It's just a just a little quirk on it. So there we are. There's the last one of those. 